Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth episode of Dragon Tooth's World, our little survival let's play. Now, um, something that's a combination of great and terrible has happened. For those of you that don't know, last episode we went and made ourselves a spider spawner. But guys, check out this. We were just in our mine below our base and we have ourselves a zombie spawner here. So, um, yes, it's, it's honestly, um, kind of tragic after all the work we did, um, in the Mesa biome, but, I mean, on the other hand, it's really pretty awesome, because we can set up a spawner below here, and also I was going to set up a, um, automatic fish farm down here as well, uh, because, well, automatic fish farms are awesome. Now, I know some people might think automatic fish farms are, are too overpowered, but I honestly reckon that, well, you can do them, so this is my first series, and maybe if I get a ton of support on this series, um, then maybe I might do some more series with a few more challenges in it, but for this episode, I th um, uh, for this series, I think I will. But guys, check it out. We've just gone down here a little bit further, and there is in fact a skeleton spawner, which is just awesome. But guys, I think I will um, finish raiding these and then um, start setting up a bit of the gear I need to make the um, spawner things. But um, Yes guys, so I will see you when I've got all that stuff together. Okay guys, I've just got back up and I'm um, going to drop off all my stuff uh, and obviously smelt it up. But as you can see guys, we got some music discs and a um, decent amount of cobblestone. So what I've done down there is I've basically dug a big tunnel between the two spawners. Then I'm going to try and find about halfway and set up a base there and hopefully it will work so we'll have to see but um as you can also see I've got all the stuff to make a um, automatic fish farm so um now it's a fairly simple design but I reckon it works awesome I mean the first one I probably used was one that use like um, an iron door instead of a trap door and I thought that was pretty difficult um, to use but I reckon this one's honestly like super easy to use if you have an easy way to left click but um, let's grab ourselves a block of iron there now um, as you can see we've got a decent amount of diamonds um, but uh, let's grab the sticks and some more torches but guys I am super excited about this episode because hopefully we can get a ton of awesome stuff hopefully upgrade our tools and you know it'll probably end up a lot of grinding in this episode but um, I'll, I'll probably cut that out but um, yes yeah, so it's going to be a fairly long episode for me but Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and as always, if you do enjoy, please subscribe and leave a like, and of course, uh, if you, well, share it with your friends, because at this stage I'm sort of trying to grow my channel a bit, so if you could share it with your friends, I'd absolutely love that. But guys, as you can see, I've got a little tunnel there, and um, what I'm probably going to do is just enclose it, so... We don't have to worry about mobs or anything while we're running to our spawner. But, um, guys, I think I will skip ahead to where I'm doing a um, bit more interesting stuff and catch you then. Okay, guys, so this is our little room right here. And I am, in fact, starting on our um, automatic fish farm. Now, I am not doing this with any instructions, but um, 
just doing it off the general concept so I might get it wrong occasionally but hopefully you guys don't mind so I'm going to put a bunch of chess below it because I mean that's completely necessary um, and then yes hopefully it works I will of course also have to um, do the tunnel up to the sky so it actually does properly work but I will do that a bit later for a starter is this going to work like this um, if we put glass in here defenses still connect to it um, I'm not entirely sure it might just be with leaves but we'll try with glass first because oops sorry otherwise we need to run up and grab some grass but let's pop that down there um, and okay it looks like we do indeed need grass um, not grass um, sorry guys we do indeed need leaves so I guess I will run and grab them and give you an update when it um, actually works okay guys the moment of truth will it work yes it does okay that's awesome well um now all I've really got to do is sort out the sky so guys I will do that and get back to you but basically what I'm gonna do is just um dig a tunnel up and then put some glass at the top and bottom but guys I will see you when I've done that okay so the sky's set up and we've mined out a bit of a space below the um uh, farm itself but what I'm doing here is I'm just making a bunch of basically infinite hoppers so um, if we pop those in then it should just filter through down to the bottom chest so um, if we ever fill up five chests I will be surprised but guys I um, think I'll fill this up and then you know I think I will um, work on the mob uh, uh, the spawner farms but guys I will get back to you um, when I have got those pretty much finished off guys alrighty guys I am back and it has been quite some time now guys um, as I said it's been quite some time and I had to go to the nether and get some soul sand um, for like some water elevators and stuff but guys I'm sorry I uh, cut all that out I hope you don't mind too much but we're currently in the zombie room and I've already done this for the skeleton room of camera um, just because I thought you didn't want to see me die but as you can see we've got the water going down here then a water elevator and then it drops down into here and this is our room now also off camera I tidied up this room a little bit so I reckon it actually looks super beautiful and I got some chests there and like um labeled them so if you ask me it looks beautiful so basically if I sit in here then um I can I AKF on the fish farm and um the zombie and skeleton spawners will still work which is absolutely awesome so as you can see I've got a little bit of stuff down here not too much but the skeleton spawn is going strong um, the zombie spawner doesn't seem to have kicked in quite yet but guys I can't wait until I can get sweeping edge on this sword but guys I think I'm probably going to grind this out a bit and get back to you when I've ground uh, grinded sorry guys that was grammatically incorrect but yes I will get back to you guys in, um, soon okay guys um so I am back and we've been grinding for quite some time and we got a bunch of super awesome stuff and we can make ourselves a truly overpowered bow but guys I've also off camera I've taken the liberty of making a um, mending um, fishing rod so I hope you don't mind but that means I can basically fish infinitely with it which is great but I'm just unenchanting some of the um, stuff that I don't really need because it gives me extra XP and well basically it just saves up my chest space but 
I feel like once you have one bow, you don't really need um, many other bows. Now, let's see if we go like that. Does that actually combine them? No, it takes enchantment of them. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to go and do that in our um, anvil upstairs. But, um, let's see, guys. Um, now, as you can see, I'm nearly at 30 levels. So, um, there we go. We've hit 30 levels, which is awesome. But, um see what else do I need um I guess I'll put this pop this stuff back in here um and head upstairs and combine our bows now this episode I'm probably going to work a bit on bow and sword upgrades um just because I'm doing so much grinding um and uh well bows you can get basically infinitely from the um AKF, AK fish farm and also swords um, well you need them for the um, grinding itself so yeah but um, let's grab our lapis because we need that for enchanting um, actually um, yeah let's see okay sweeping edge 3 that's awesome guys and we've got Bane of the Arthropods 4 as well, which, I mean, isn't great, but it's it's fine, we'll take it. I mean, it's good for our spider spawner, but, um, let's see, what's cheaper? Um, okay, that appears, um, I think, um, let's see, oh, gods, guys, I'm sorry. Well, um... I guess we'll grab this, and then if we go like that, look, we've got a power five, I'm breaking three, um, mending flame bow, that is awesome, guys, but, um, all we need on this now is punch, now let's see, do I want to rename it, um, you know, guys, I think I'll just, I'll stick with bow for now, and then, um, I'll rename it a bit later, and maybe you guys could give me some suggestions for the name of my bow and my sword down in the comments. But let's try this bow out, shall we, on the sheep? Well, he spectacularly misses. Okay, there we go. That is overpowered. One shot kill for a sheep. But guys, I'll get back to grinding and see you soon. Alrighty, we're back, and um, we've got a bunch more levels, so... We should hopefully be able to enchant our sword now, but as you can see we've got a bunch of arrows and bones and bows, and also we're for some reason getting drowns occasionally, but we've got a bunch of iron and gold, and also some carrots and potatoes in this chest here, and a decent amount of rotten flesh, so it is looking great guys. Um, but, let's see, let's check what we've got in our, um, chest down here um okay a fairly decent amount of stuff we've got a smite enchanting book which is interesting um a punch bow oh guys i'm gonna take it a punch two bow that is nice that means we'll basically have the ultimate bow i mean ultimately we'd have mending and infinity but i don't think you can have that anymore so that's a bit of a shame but guys still i'm I'm incredibly happy with this, and it's not as if we're ever going to run out of arrows with our infinite arrow farm here. But, um, let's just run back up to the surface again, and, um, hopefully it's daytime. Um, it looks like it is, which is lovely. It's kind of funny, because every time I run up the stairs, um, how's the sugar cane going? But every time I run up the stairs, um, the chunk doesn't load so I can see whether it's daytime or nighttime. But it looks like we've got a bit over a stack of sugar cane there, which is awesome. Because it's clearly pottering away while we're grinding, so um that is fantastic. But um let's see. Okay. That bow looks beautiful. Um I think Yep, it's cheaper that way. Oh, guys, we have got the ultimate bow, and it's only episode 5. That is awesome. But let's pop our swords together. And are you joking? We still don't have enough. 
well, I want to do it that way around because otherwise I'm pretty sure it gives us Bane of the Arthropods and takes away sharpness. But guys, once again I shall do some grinding and um, hopefully I can finally get a better sword. But see you soon guys. Okay guys, we're back on the surface after a decent amount of grinding. And... Um... Did I just see a skeleton over here? Aha! Um... Uh... I can't say anything, that shot was terrible. Um, but let's drop this arrow off, because otherwise we don't have an even two stacks. But guys, hopefully, um... We can finally get, um... Our sword OP. Okay, guys, that is awesome. The only thing that could be better about that is Fire Aspect 2 and also um, looting. But, guys, that sword is OP and generally it's been an OP day. But, guys, I think I'm probably going to keep grinding off camera. Um, and, well, uh, between episodes, I should say and try and get a ton of XP and then yes we'll see what we do on the next episode but guys it's looking awesome we're getting a good yield of watermelon and pumpkins and the world is a better place but let's knock off the spider with our OP bow grab that XP and Let's also drop off our pumpkins and watermelons. But guys, I think I'm probably going to end off the episode pretty soon. Now, I know it's been a short one, but um, there was quite a lot of recording time in it, guys. So, I hope you don't mind. But, um, as always, if you enjoyed, please um, subscribe and leave a like and share with your friends. And, um, I'll grab that arrow again. But guys... Um, it has been a pretty productive episode, I mean, we got an awesome XP farm, like, oh, probably, honestly, the ultimate XP, P oh, gods, guys, the ultimate XP farm, but, guys, I think I'm going to end off this episode here, and, as always, thank you all so, so much for watching, and catch you later in another episode.